How are you today, Trevor? I'm good. How are you? Good. So how'd you get started in this business? Uh, it's a funny story. I went to school for psychology, and then uh, I didn't want to get my master's, and so I entered the restaurant business, and I fell in love with it from day one. Uh, the creativity was exactly what I was looking for in my career, and I was lucky enough to uh, land with two CIA graduates, the Culinary Institute of America, and I uh, worked with them for six years. And basically, I just wrote down everything, asked a lot of questions, and um, did a lot of research. Now, where, where were you before here? A place called Meritage, which is on Route 34 in mm -hmm. Wall Township. It is now Shogun Legends. Shogun. Yes. So you produce uh, two seasonal menus a year, or four? Four. Four. And when do those come out? Uh, they always come out uh, to change the season. So uh, as soon as fall starts, which is usually around uh, September 20th, 21st, and uh, so on and so forth for the following seasons, December and uh, was it March, and that's about it. And what's the, what's the inspiration for your menu? Definitely the seasonal flavors. So in fall, it's more uh, sweet. Uh, honey, uh, nuts, uh, we have more meat in the winter, and then we have lighter cuisine in the summer. And uh, always have a lot of fish in the summer. We have a great abundance of fish on the Jersey Shore. It's very nice to be a chef here on the Jersey Shore with the availability of fresh uh, produce and fresh fish. So Remington's has become a, a favorite local haunt for people in this area. What, what do you think the appeal is? Definitely location. Uh, we're right on Main Street. We have a great view. We have a great staff. A wonderful selection of wines. And uh, I think the food helps too. So, if you think back over the last few years, tell me what your most memorable meal was. Honestly, I don't go out that much. Uh, being a chef, <laughs> uh, I'm more into comfort food. Um, I want to say it's memorable, but um, what I remember is places that I go to that I actually get a, a good meal. That's hard to find nowadays. Um, with a lot of the restaurants popping up, they come and go, and a lot of restaurants just don't make it. I am, was more inspired by dishes that other chefs make that I've worked for. That really inspires me to see uh, the ingredients they use, the finesse they use, the technique, and um, most of all, the way they teach and take the time to teach other people. Um, that's the most memorable part of any cuisine that, that I can take away from restaurants. On your days off, do you cook at home or do you go out? I do. I have an eight-year-old daughter and uh, she's my biggest critic. So she's very tough to cook for. She's very picky. You know, no crust, cutting triangles, and each triangle has to be the same shape. And then she only eats a little bit of it, and then we'll save it for later. And then I have to find a way to reheat a grilled cheese sandwich so she can eat it. Um, so, yes, I would say I do cook at home. Um, and I think with my wife and my uh, daughter, they're my toughest critics, like I said. And they let me know if I use too much of something or not enough of this. Um, so I actually enjoy cooking at home. It helps me prepare myself for the restaurant. So three people you'd like to have dinner with. They could be dead or alive. Okay. Um, say uh, George Washington, Martha Stewart, and John F. Kennedy. So your last meal, what's on the menu? Last meal, I would definitely do a surf and turf with a um, 18 ounce bone-in ribeye and a South African eight ounce lobster tail. 
So what's not on the menu right now that you'd like on the menu? Oh, there's a lot. I um, am limited by the size of the menu. Uh, you know, we have a very limited menu um, and there's so much that can be done with all the different ingredients that we have in-house. I really wish the menu was bigger. Um, if there had to be one thing that I've been trying to get on the menu, um, actually made it on the menu, and it's a grilled avocado uh, that I've been working on for a while, and uh, it's just a half a grilled avocado. Uh, it comes with mango, salsa, and uh, some skewered shrimp and a tequila lime aioli. That's definitely one of my signature dishes and that's something that uh, represents the restaurant. I've had it, it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. So how about linguine and clam sauce? That's funny you mentioned that, because <laughs> it's gonna come because on. Because we know the owner's wife would love that. <laughs> yes, it's gonna be on the menu this summer. Oh, fantastic. Yes, I'm finally putting it on the menu. Oh, that's great. Yes. Well, have a good summer. Thank you very much, All you right. too. Take care.